Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. Come on in. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Got a uh, small project here. So I got a video for you guys. Um, I wasn't gonna film it because it's uh, pretty basic, but then I started thinking, you know, there's always new people coming to the machining and metalworking community and they want to learn. So I figured, ah, we'll just go ahead and make a video. So this isn't, uh, you know, mind blowing. So, you know, so some of you guys may be bored with it. I apologize in advance, but uh, for, you know, ones that are come here to learn to, uh, you know, make uh, simple parts, then uh, this is hopefully be an interesting video. So what you're looking at is my shopping cart. This is what I take with me when I go to the uh, swap meets and flea markets and whatnot. It, uh, it works well, you know, it beats carrying items, especially since we like to buy heavy stuff, <laughs> you know, carrying a bunch, bunch of tools and, you know, whatnot. So, uh, you know, you can pack it in it pretty good. This is uh, kind of the deluxe model. It's got uh, a basket on the back. It's got bigger wheels on it and the front wheels turn. So it works pretty good, but uh, it does have its downfalls. Uh, one being that, uh, you know, the axle works for what it's rated for. But, um, you know, I'm always looking for a big vise or an anvil or, you know, heavy stuff. So it's uh, got a small tweak in it already from loading it up. Not sure if the camera is going to pick it up or not. So what I want to do is um, got a piece of half inch rod, going to upgrade the axle. Also going to upgrade these cheesy wheels because they're already starting to fall apart. Um, the Chinese did put bearings in them, which is nice, but the problem is uh, the metal housing on the bearings don't want to stay in the plastic bore of the wheels. They keep coming out and I've just jerry rigged it with a bunch of washers right now to try to retain the bearings but uh, still not a good design and also the small width and small diameter of the tire uh, gets hung up in ruts and also you know most of the time these swap meets and flea markets are in fields or gravel lots and you're constantly fighting you know the gravel and, and the ruts so what I want to do is put on some larger tires pick these up from Harbor Freight these are worry free so they are um, basically uh, solid so I don't have to worry about punctures and I don't have to worry about constantly you know airing them up now this bore is uh, 5 8 and of course you know we're gonna go with a half inch diameter axle so what we're gonna be doing here is obviously some basic turning because we need to make a bushing to fill the wheel hubs and also we need to make a well, we need to make two brackets to uh, hold the axle to the cart itself. So some simple milling, some simple turning. That's what this project's about. So that's what we're going to do. And probably going to make the brackets out of aluminum. So let me go ahead and break this down. And then um, I'll bring you guys back when I have a plan of attack. Going to work on the uh, axle mount first. Got a block of 6061. It's uh, two inches by four inches by one inch thick. More for you metric guys. Um, about 10 centimeters by two and a half centimeters. And what we got here? We got uh, a little over five centimeters. Hopefully you guys can pick that up. I've got some lines scribed. So the red line is, that's where we're going to cut this thing in half. So we've got the left and the right bracket. This line indicates we're going to drill that half inch hole through there. That'll be what the axle is going to slide through. And this line here and this line here, we're going to drill down an inch with a 4164. And they're going to go through the tops here. So it's will slide up and then we'll have to drill and uh, figure out what size that hole is. I'll use the existing hole to hold the bracket on. Um, these holes aren't, there's no need for them to be precise because that uh, 
the steel over there doesn't measure perfectly. It's from 650 down to like 638. It's kind of egg shaped, so we'll make it fit. So that's the plan of attack. Let me get this in, find the edges, and we'll go ahead and uh, do these two holes first. And then after that, I think either I may drill halfway and then flip it up around and then drill the other half, or I can cut it and then just drill straight through. Not sure yet, but uh, let's get started. Holes are done. So, time to drill the axle hole. I got a 3164 in there, and then we'll uh, run a 0.500 reamer through it. I'm just going to go ahead and drill two inches down. Time to take it over to bandsaw and cut her in half, and then once we're back, I'll ream the holes. Well, change the plans. I think I'm just going to go ahead and ream it while it's in here, since we're not going for a real precise fit. You know, try to keep the chips evacuated the best we can, but trying to go in, you know, a blind hole it tends to pack them up and it tends to ream the hole larger than you'd like, but. For this application, I think we'll be okay, so we'll just go ahead and do it since it's already set up. Well, the reamer did not ream oversize. This is a 499 gauge pin. And she is snug going in that hole. This side she goes in fine. This is a 500. I can just barely get it in here. It won't, it won't go in on this side. So let me just clean it out just a whisker. It will be good. Like I said, I'll get over the bandsaw and we'll cut her in half too. two uh, mounting axle brackets so I didn't 
bother doing any fancy milling on them. Just broke the edges. You know, using no good deburr on the holes. And I dropped one. <laughs> so, so we got a good fit on her. So, I think this is going to work out good. Let me get these mounted up. And I'll get you guys in closer. I don't know if you can see. These were the original mounting holes right there and there. So, the block will go up. And we'll find that hole and we'll just drill through it and we all we have to do is put a bolt in the nut and she should be good to go so there you got it uh first hand view a little test fit she looks good like i said i've got these marked here so i'm going to take them off i know how far down i got to go to drill a mounting hole to hold these brackets in place but now you see what we got going on and then of course Got to get her wheels on. Actually, she's going to mount like that. And I've made it so it should just clear here. If you guys can see those ends. Worst case, I can trim her a little bit. But I think we're going to be okay. So, coming together. Hope you guys can see the concept. So, let me, uh, like I said, I'll just get these off. I'll just drill these holes off camera. No big deal. And then we'll uh, come up with a plan to uh, make bushings for both sides here. So I'm getting it assembled. As you can see, I got the brackets on, just simply drilled a hole using a uh, quarter 20 bolt. She looks good. <clears throat> got it extended over about 450 thou. I think what I'm gonna do is just make it simple. I'll just uh, drill a hole and use a cotter pin and a washer there. I thought about threading it and putting a nut on it, but we're gonna to try to keep this simple. So, same deal, I got it marked. So I'm gonna cut that there, and then we'll um, get this thing over to the lathe, and we've got to uh, you know sleeve both ends. See if I can do this one-handed, got this thing falling. See, this thing collapses so you can transport it easily. But um, checking this bore with gauge pins, it's about, uh, this one is 633 and the other one is uh, 632. So we'll make the OD of that sleeve 632,000, so it'll be a nice slide and fit. Alrighty, I moved over to the Enco. I got a taper on that Monarch I got to chase down. I fixed the tailstock. It was about four thou out, and then um, I still got it. And I thought, all right, well, maybe it was because I drilled that uh, center hole off. So I took it out and re drilled it, and I'm still off several thou. So we'll go ahead and get this knocked out on the smaller lathe and then once this project is done I will uh, work on chasing down that taper in the big lathe. 
but uh, getting close to my number so we're just easing on it taking about uh, 15 thou depth of cut for a total of 30 thou